hello and welcome to my channel on YouTube and in today's video I'm gonna tell you about how you can download your bitmetry data from Jepco for your simulation and dark 3d you know that while doing the simulation in dark 3d you need to uh, upload or uh, insert your bitmetry file but before starting my today's video, I want to thank all of people who gave a positive response on my previous video about dev 3D in which I told you about how you add the license file to dev 3D. I have received a lot of emails to send them the source code and it's really a happy thing for me that my video was helpful to a lot of people. However, I want to add a little on my previous video that uh, so this is the source code, the tag that I have uh, compiled for the 3D and this is my compiled version. So I sent you this .rar file in email. So all you have to do is extract the file then you have this folder. The next thing you want to do is copy the folder, press copy and then go to your C file and then go to program files and search for deltas there you have it and there you have your dev 3d version so there you have exactly 4 so you paste your that file over this folder in this folder and when you paste the file choose replace for all those files who already exist in this folder so once you replace and paste the file and the compiled files and then you can simulate your uh, model the MDF file that you have created and run the simulation and now moving towards today's video that how you can download the bitmetry so you have two options normally either you get your own field data that is uh, from the survey that your uh, marine department in your country have it and the next source is to download it from online platform so normally we download it from this uh, JEPCO so you search for JEPCO and then go to credit metric data so you go here and then the next thing is you find your area of interest where you have generated the crit so for example I want to download the bathymetry for this region so what I will do is press control plus mouse left click drag a box select a region so control and select a box so for example I want to download my data for this region okay, so I have selected click 2D net CDF grid then add to basket it's added view your basket and then download it okay so there you have downloaded your bathymetry so there you have it so you I will copy uh, I will move it to this folder then extract here and go to your folder so there you have your bitmetry. However, I want to show you that how a dev 3D accept the format that dev 3D accept for your data to be in. So if you see this file, so there are some random text written. So this is not acceptable in dev 3D. For dev 3D, so here I have a sample. So your data should be like this. A latitude column longitude column and your samples okay so your data should be in this format so we will convert that file to this format so I will do it by a script I'll copy my script to this folder and then edit my script okay before editing I want to change the name of this file so for example uh, I want to change it GEP oh. okay so now 
I will change the file name here so this is my input file and I want the file with name dot xyz so I will save the script and then run it run the script by pressing F5 I run manually and there you have it so your file is converted into dot xyz format so you close all your, of your script so there you have it so here if you see it is the file but there are multiple problems the one thing is there you have your data latitude longitude and your sample but these are not in the columns so these are separated by comma so again this is not accepted in your doc3d so you have to change your data to one column for latitude, second column for longitude, third for your samples. Okay. The next thing is there you have your data, then there's an empty, empty row. Then your data, then your empty row. So this is also not uh, good for you, for your file. It's not acceptable. So you have to delete all the empty rows. And the third thing is you have data is uh, in reverse. So, for example, you have latitude, longitude, and minus 3 values. So, if you include what this here means, uh, what this here means that for this location, there's a deep water that is 3 meters deep. That means the depth from the sea level inside the water is 3 meter. However, if you include this data in depth 3D, it will mean, it will assume that for this latitude, longitude location, so there's no water but there's a length minus 3 means that the length above the sea level so we need to convert change the sign of all these files so we can do it by excel sheet i will open an excel sheet and then select my data control a control c and then paste it in my excel sheet control v so here my data is uh, in text format it's not numbers so I will convert it from text to numbers text to columns okay so next and there is separated by comma so I select comma next finish there is control next I will delete all the rows automatically because maybe you have a lot of samples so you cannot delete your rows manually so i will select all the data shift your right arrow on keyboard and there you have selected then press f5 f5 on your keyboard okay and go to special and click blank so this will select all the cells inside selected data data blank they don't have any value so click ok so there your cells are selected then can delete it delete rows okay so there now my now my data is deleted but now I want to change the sign value from negative to plus so for all those value who have negative sign I want them to be plus for all those who have positive sign I want them to be minus so I will do it by minus one multiplying the whole data by minus one so I have it I will copy this cell minus one select this control shift down arrow so all of your data is selected right click paste special then you multiply press ok ok so now you see all of this is changed now I will click shift your left arrow on keyboard left arrow on your keyboard so there all of your data is selected okay so now I can copy it control C so it's copied I will create uh, another new folder create text document open it and paste it so now there you have it so 
so this is acceptable in the 3d so i'll save it control s close the file but the extension should be dot xyz so i will rename it new text document with extension dot xyz okay press yes so there you have it Okay, now let me show you if it's working in Dev3D or not. So my name is there. So I will open my Dev3D folder. And then go to create. Click in. I will open my land boundary. I have an example of grid so I will open grid okay. next I want to open my samples open sample and I have it in this folder inside this so there so my new folder was new text document press open and there you have your samples okay so see uh, all of samples are available so now these samples and um, these samples will for example 5 so this color so water depth over here is 5 meter if this value was in minus 5 for example if my sample value is here so this for those value are let me show you an example so here I have this is a lint so to define the data for this value for example this node point or this I will define this one cell along this node points I will change the value to minus whatever the value these cells are having I will change that value to minus then my this well uh, my this cell will be considered as length that means above the water level so that's it that's how you do it and have a good day and if you need any information on this you can drop me an email for example if you need this uh, python script i can send you you can drop me a, an email you can find my email in the description thanks and have a good day